I'd like to introduce you to a client. This is Rock Hudson. Hello. So I take it you're in Gone with the Wind? Rock Hudson is one of the many real-life characters featured in Hollywood on Netflix. She's goddamn Scarlett O'Hara, you hazy. But how Rock Hudson is portrayed within the seven-episode series created by Glee's Ryan Murphy isn't 100% accurate. The show merges fact and fantasy of What If, reimagining Hollywood's golden years for contemporary audiences. So who was Rock Hudson? A bona fide movie star. So Rock Hudson in the 1950s and 60s was the very embodiment of American masculinity on screen. His agent, Henry Wilson, had very shrewdly and carefully and meticulously groomed him to be the resident Adonis at Universal Studios. He was beloved by millions of moviegoers who watched him literally grow up in front of their eyes. I'll do anything. In Hollywood, we're introduced to the fresh-faced kid as he arrived in Tinseltown. His agent, Henry Wilson, played by Jim Parsons in the series, is based on the real person. Wilson's the one who changed the future star's name from Roy Fitzgerald to Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson's a movie star. What I really um, am digging about Hollywood is that Jake Picking, the young actor who's playing Rock Hudson, is really capturing um, a lot of his personality. Hudson was born in Winnetka, Illinois in 1925. He was a truck driver in the 1940s with no acting experience before coming to LA. But this was this big strapping guy, but also a gentle giant who was very vulnerable, who had, I think, a damaged self-esteem, which was understandable given his very traumatic early years abandoned by his biological father, abused by his stepfather, um, kind of loved but also dominated by his mother. In Hollywood, the first film Hudson appears in is Meg. But in reality, Hudson's first on-screen appearance was a small role in Fighter Squadron. Rock Hudson's red carpet life was not as depicted in the series either. In Hollywood, he's seen holding hands with his boyfriend, a fictional character played by Jeremy Pope. Rock Hudson's real life red carpet experience was quite different due to the societal pressures in place at the time. There's that full again, Rock Hudson with Claudia Cardinelli. It was expected that Rock would squire a really beautiful ingenue like a Vera Ellen or a Piper Laurie to a red carpet premiere. Rock Hudson's biggest movie was 1956's Giant, with James Dean and Elizabeth Taylor. Stormy passions, deep human understanding, and love. Always love. He continued making films right up until his death. Actor Rock Hudson dead, his year-long battle with AIDS at an end, he was 59. Rock Hudson died in 1985 from AIDS. It was the first time the world learned he was gay and he became the face of the pandemic. I think most people could connect the dots at that point. But even though he never publicly stated, I am gay, um, when the news broke that he was dying of AIDS, I think the rumors that had circulated for years about Rock Hudson, even his devoted fan base, you know, out in um, middle America, could probably finally figure out, oh, you know, Rock Hudson is gay. Um, but there was never any direct statement of that in his lifetime. Griffin's biography about Rock Hudson is being made into a movie. And I'm really glad that whether it's through my book or through the Ryan Murphy Hollywood series, that a whole new generation is going to be introduced to Rock Hudson and learn about him and hopefully be intrigued enough to go and watch some of his films. I mean, he made more than 60 feature films. so. I think that it's fantastic that a whole new demographic is going to learn about who he is. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lee Sheps.